Good evening from Atlanta, Georgia. I am your host, Raphael Bay. Welcome to the Bay Show. It's always been knowing people always trying to smuggle in illegal stuff in the outside of jail. Whether it's Al Capone trying to smuggle in cocaine or Jeffrey Epstein trying to, trying to be smuggling by Bill Barr. He always been knowing. But this time, this time, this time, it got my attention because the content of the substance, the demand, was for big pimping in jail. Well, a serious warning tonight from DeKalb County. Don't try to smuggle contrabands into their jail. They say it's a huge problem there. One man was just arrested after trying to sneak in drugs, cell phones, and chicken wings. As Fox 5's Rob Durienzo reports, guards are turning to drones to help crack down. The DeKalb County Jail is unique. As you can see behind me, there's no barbed wire fence. It's just the wall, the guard line, and some grass. This week, the alleged chicken wing smuggler is just the latest to get caught. We, DeKalb County Sheriff's Office, is smarter than the average criminal. DeKalb County deputies have said they're not playing around. Friday's attempted drop included chicken wings, candy, weed, coke. Talking about chicken wings, this Former Doroville police officer, Mr. Bryan. You see, six months ago, the beautiful Susanna Morales, 15 years old, has disappeared. Nobody knew. Her family was all over the place trying to figure out where she was. Two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, this news break out. Developments tonight and the killing of the 16-year-old girl, Susanna Morales, a former Doraville police officer already accused of dumping her body is now being charged in her murder. According to the police, that's right. According to police, this schmirk lost his weapon and reported the story the same day the Morales family reported her missing. You might go to say maybe just a uh, no coincidence, nothing to see here. But why the why the Gwinnett County Police Department doing the investigation? We having a report from an old flame he's. It really not unusual for him to kick door down to get some pussy. Then after he was arrested on Monday in the Morales case, the woman now wonders if it could have been her. John Shirick has her story for us tonight. I woke up with nightmares. She is still shaking. Alicia Bates says that on Monday when she saw that Gwinnett County Police had arrested now former Doraville police officer Miles Bryant in connection with the death of 16-year-old Susanna Morales. Bates said to herself, It could have been me. Alicia Bates says she now believes Bryant is the same man who had been stalking her over several months last year, even breaking through her door when she wasn't home, she says, and trying to get in several other times as seen on a neighbor's doorbell camera that's right did if first of all if this week whatever this witness says is accurate that means they got a case against the police to somebody have to pay somebody have to pay so I want Benjamin Crump all those people to come down here to figure out what the hell happened to this case okay and second of all dude what the fuck are you doing? We recognize you. You think you don't see because you changed the paint? You got the same hoodie. You don't have any more hoodie, you got an extra Vanoa. You got plenty of them from the pandemic. And by the way, the way Trevor Noah you left the show, that was crazy. That was because I really that you didn't see the gravity of the damage Trevor Noah left the way he left the show. First he left it. First. He decided to announce that he left the show on the air. Left Ronnie Chang almost <laughs> ran out of the stage. And why he quitting? He implied he took the decision with Rory Jr. No, don't put Rory Jr. into that. Okay? We already know what you're doing. It seems like he ain't tell nobody. The next thing you see him, uh, we bust the hump. <laughs> like he right now. <laughs> This is what it is. You fucked up the whole show. They still don't know who gonna host the damn thing. Look at them. I don't understand. I 
after seven years, you just decide to quit. Think about it. Jimmy Kimmel just celebrated his 20 year anniversary. Did you see that? After seven years, this guy decides to say, hey, I'm done. I'm going back to Africa. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to go, man. You're supposed to bring me in. Did you bring me in? No. You didn't call me? Did you call me? No. There you go. Where the Indian, now who they got, an Indian guy? Next thing you know, you're going to have Michael Blackson. Motherfucker, motherfucker. We're not going to do that, okay? You should call me. Oh, my phone ringing? Who that? My baby mama? Which one? Tell her I call her back. I'm doing the show right now. Tell her I call her back. From an allegedly a murder to an assault on the teacher in Rockdale County after a student. After being tired to being talking too much to a teacher, she decided to take the matter on her own hand. This video of a student attacking a teacher inside a Heritage High School classroom on January 26th is now under review by the school district and authorities with the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office. The video, which has since been shared thousands of times on social media, shows chaos erupting in the hallway after an argument between the student and teacher seen here escalates. As that student appears to slam the classroom door. At this point, at this point, we're going to agree we Republican. We have to arm teachers. No, 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 no. You might gonna say, hey, 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 somebody gonna get shot. Yes, that's the point. Okay? At least they don't get the ass whooped. What you think? Yeah, don't, but don't take advice from me. I'm just an African man talking on TV. In this case, probably on your YouTube. Why are you taking the dump? But after. The president of the federation, the president of the federation of <laughs> teachers, least and saw the video. This is the reaction that she had that day. For the violence, there is no excuse for children who are coming to our schools daily and wreaking havoc so others cannot learn. Verdelia Turner is the president of the Georgia Federation of Teachers. She says she was angered by what she saw in that video when she first watched it Monday. She tells Fox 5 incidents like this one make it difficult to keep teachers inside the classroom. When we search uh, the way up and just Google student assaults on teachers, we'll see numerous assaults across the country. She believes both students and parents should be held accountable. And this city and the state, we are in a state of emergency and right now, we need zero tolerance. A spokesperson for Rockdale County Public Schools issued a statement that reads in part, quote, <laughs> The kid is out of control. That's, that's right. That's how my mom, when she was trying to whoop my ass, was telling me, I'm going to whoop your ass. That means the situation really blowing out of proportion right now. So we have to have to figure out how to bring those kids back to the classroom and keep their hand to themselves. Let's move on to a story out of Washington, D.C., the only state who stole another name state and put D.C. in front of it like it make a difference. Because if you was going out of the sky and was seeing the glooming celeste round thing inside the sky two weeks ago, you would like think that maybe it was the moon. But I'm sorry to tell you, you were sadly mistaken. The foreign ministry there has accused the United States since the start of 2022 of flying balloons uh, 10 different times over Chinese airspace. Can you uh, respond to that accusation? Not true. Not doing it. Just absolutely not true. So the U.S., let me just push you a little further then. So the U.S. is not using these balloons technologies at all over China? That is right. We are not flying balloons uh, over China. That is absolutely true. That's right. NSC Amiro John Kribbe just respectfully disagree. Never done it ever. No balloon. Never flow any balloon in China. They don't do that. That's crazy. Anyway. But in the meantime, the Chinese say, hey, 
Since you shot our balloon, that at least give us back the balloon. That's why triggered the reaction from the Montana Senator, John Tester. And this is how, how we respond to that. Well, they're demanding the balloon remnants back. They want it back. Well, I got a better idea for them. Just don't send them over in the first place and then they can keep them. All right, Senator John Tester, Democrat of Montana. Always good to see you, sir. Thank Thanks. you so much. That's right. Another word is our balloon now. Okay? Talking about white thing who's supposed to be shut down off the air, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Fox News propaganda host and man who says always two sides to a story. You see, Tucker Carlson has been given all the January 6th date by the newly elected Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. See, he explained to Paul Ryan why he gave all the tape without his consent. And he said he want transparency. He want every stone being turned and find out all the crime has been committed in the Capitol. Okay? You probably gonna want to me and say, hey, Rafael, hey, hey, hey. We already have a January 6th report out there. We have a Senate committee going on. We have a DOJ investigation going on on the January 6th committee. But I'm going to stop you right there, right there. Mm. Because it's one crime, one crime that no one has been accused of. What the crime? I'm going to let the speaker, the former speaker of the house, Nancy Pelosi, explain it to you. We're getting a counterpoint that is, we could take time uh, to clean up the poo poo that they're making all over them, literally and figuratively in the cabinet. <laughs> That's right. So everybody get ready for the new Fox News documentary. Tucker Carlson, a shit show, literally. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Bang Show, and don't forget to subscribe down here, and make sure you check the Bang Enterprise.net for your next trip to the motherland. It was a pleasant pleasure and the privilege to be with you this evening, and I'll see you next time. Take care, I'll see you next week.